I spent the last few weekends mixing two of my favorite things, RPG games and the command line. While some games have a limited command line, this game has a built-in operating system and Bash as its interface. I was split at first if I wanted ASCII art or 2D graphics, but I settled on 2D graphics using Pygame for now. This is the game Poodillion. This game is named after my dog, whose nickname falls apart at the fact that she's not a poodle. Directories in the Poodillion file system show up as rooms. Like Bob says, you can use CD to switch which room you're in. Every NPC has a life file in the game's present working directory. You can use the RM command to shoot lasers at most NPCs simply by attacking their life file. Killing this enemy has unlocked a door. You can move the player around by tapping the screen, or you can set a course with the arrow keys. The first level takes place in depths deeper. Once you find your way over, the directories in this room are procedurally generated. Try not to get lost as you find your way to the boss fight. Much of the player's statistics are controlled in the player's sys directory. While the user has limited access to the sys folder, the commands the player uses can manipulate the sys files. This lets the commands edit the player's health, power, or even leave on-screen messages in-game. Once you defeat the first level, you'll have a new command to play around with. Any file you touch starting with frog will become an NPC with the life file you just created. Do note that this takes player power to spawn in. When you first run the game, it builds a chew root of Debian 11 and copies in all the game files. This way, you don't have to worry about deleting the wrong files or having your personal data get in the way. If this sounds like a fun game, give it a download and test it out. This is GPO3 and should work on most GNU Linux desktops or phones. Thanks for watching. Bye.